What's up everybody, thanks for coming back to the channel. Fuller here and we are continuing our series on Metasound Synthesis. In today's video, we're going to talk about functionality. We're going to bring in a Metasound uh, that is using a synthesizer square wave. We're going to create a blueprint instance of that. We're gonna expose the frequency variable so that you can bring the Metasound into the game change the frequency, spawn as many versions of it as you want, and then we're gonna use a collision box to trigger that wave on and off. So kind of some deep functionality here and really kind of transitioning from creating the Metasound to implementing it into the game. So I uh, hope this video is helpful. Let's jump on in. Okay, so if you haven't seen my previous videos, please go and check that out because this is a continuation of them. Uh, we are going to be working with this Metasound basic square wave oscillator. It sounds like this. Trigger on, trigger off. Right now we have a 110 frequency, which is a low A, two octaves below A440. And uh, we've got a simple ADSR envelope here uh, that kind of smooths that out, like that. And let me show you what we're implementing. Uh, I've got two instances of these meta sounds in here showing as boxes and let's bring those up just a little bit and when my player walks up to them you will hear them trigger 440 and 110 now what's cool about this is if you look over here in the detail window you can change the frequency here frequency here so what we're doing is we're taking this meta sound and we're uh, creating a blueprint instance and we're able to expose the frequency here so I could just put whatever note I wanted in there and that would trigger that note and you could technically you could trigger them both at the same time and make a chord if you wanted to but we're not going to do that today I'm just going to show you how to pull these sounds in so we have our synth meta sound here again if you didn't see that video on how to do that go back and watch that because you're going to need that to participate here is our meta sound ms variable reveal and that's what i just played for you now what we're going to do is we're going to create this cube here uh, so basically i made a cube a physical representation of a cube with a collision box and then the meta sound is being housed in there and then we're exposing those variables into the panel. So what we're gonna do is uh, look at this, let's look at this cube real quick. There's three main parts to it. The first part is this variable that allows us to expose the frequency in the blueprint. And then this, uh, there is this um, collision box logic, which triggers the note on and off when the player walks into the box. And then this is just the debug, because you know how I feel about that. Don't sleep on debug. Go check out my video on debugging. It's very helpful, especially in stuff like this. In case the sounds don't work, you can at least tell whether the, the, the other logic is working. So we're going to rebuild this box from scratch, and then we're going to um, implement it into the game. So let's delete these and let's make the cube. So we're gonna go down here into our content drawer under our folder called Metasounds. We're gonna right click. We're gonna create new blueprint class. It's gonna be an actor and we're gonna call this BP cube. I'm gonna call this one 02 because I wanna reference the first one I made. And uh, if you look in here, when you double click on this, you see the viewport window. Here, let's dock this. You see the viewport window, then you also see the event graph. We're gonna need both of those in a minute. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the viewport view. And we are going to just bring in a cube, okay? Let's, so we're gonna go up here, we're gonna add cube, and there's our cube right here. And if we want to test that, we'll come over to the third person map, drop that in our game, and there it is. There's our cube that we just added. It has no functionality yet, it's just a box. We'll bring that up. Now, second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add this meta sound. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here to components. I am going to add audio. And then over here, we're going to go over here into our details panel and we're gonna select Metasound MS Variable Reveal. We're gonna also click Play Multiple Instances. Now over here, we have that. We're gonna just rename this just to keep it clean. We're gonna call this MS 
reveal. Okay, now what we can do is we have a reference that we can make. We're also going to add a collision box, but we'll do that in a second. So let's set up this logic here of the expose frequency variable. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the cube, we're going to click over to event graph, and then on event graph, we're going to pull over this event begin play. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to drag this audio component into the graph so we have a reference. We're going to drag off here. We're going to go set float parameter because remember this frequency is actually a number. So we're going to set frequency uh, float parameter on event begin play. So there's our trigger. So as soon as this game plays, we're going to set this parameter. We're going to set this in the name of the parameter. If you go over to our meta sound, we'll see this input is called square frequency. It's extremely important that that's exactly perfect. If you're one letter or one space off, it will not work because the address does not exist. So we're going to paste that in there. Then what we're going to do, and here's the fun part, we're going to drag off of here and we're going to put promote to variable. And we're going to call this variable, this is a float variable, and we're going to call this square frequency. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click this instant editable. Now once we compile that and save that, when we go back over to our third person map and we click on this cube, and let's look over here, voila, there it is, square frequency, this is our parameter. So now if I hit play, you're not going to hear anything because we don't have any on triggers yet. So we're going to set that up right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the cube and now we're going to set up this collision box logic and the way we do this we go to our cube we're going to go over here we're going to add collision box and if you look in the viewport click on collision block box let's just size this up three by three by three and then the collision box is all around it that'll be good that'll be just enough room for our player to walk into then when we go over to event graph if we select box and we right click on it we can add an event for box. We're going to add a collision on begin on component begin overlap. We're going to bring this up here. Then what we're going to do, we're going to drag our music, our meta sound over here. That's going to be our reference. We are going to set trigger, or I'm sorry, execute trigger parameter. So when this overlaps, we're going to execute this trigger parameter in this meta sound, which is the meta sound we're working on, and we're going to trigger this note on input that I created. Note on, again, it's got to be exact spelling. Go over here, note on. Now, when I compile, save, and play, if I walk over here, we should hear a sound. Actually, we're not going to hear a sound because we have the frequency set to zero. So let's go over here and let's set this to 440, A440. Now, when we go over there, we have A440. Now it's not going to shut off because we need to select a note off function. And the way we're going to do that is on the component end overlap. So we're going to click on the collision box, right click over here, add event, collision, on component end overlap. We're going to do another execute parameter, so we're just going to copy that. We're going to use the same target, that little meta sound. We're going to trigger this, and instead of note on, we're going to trigger note off. Let's double check the meta sound just to be sure. Note off, there it is. Cube 2, we're going to save, compile. Now, when our character walks off of the box, you're going to hear the note fade out. How sweet is that? Now, one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some debugging here. So what I want to do is I want to, on event overlap, I want to print. I know it's working, but just in case, I want to print collision on. And then on event overlap, I want to print collision off. So now when I do that, we're going to see over here in the top left corner, collision on, collision off, collision on, collision off. That's kind of helpful. But the other thing I want to do is I want to print out which pitch is actually playing. 
And the way we're going to do that is we're going to grab this square free. Oh, one other thing. I want what I want to do is I want to click on the square frequency. I do want to set the default. Let's set the default. I can't talk. Let's set the default to A440. So now when uh, we spawn this box, it's going to be A440 instead of zero, which is better than zero. Okay. What I want to do now is I want to grab this frequency and drag it over here. I want to get frequency. So what this is going to do is this is going to tell me what that variable is set at. I want to come over here. I want to print string. And what I want to do is I want to prevent, I want to print what frequency it is. Now this isn't a string. It's a float, but unreal is going to convert this to a float for me which I much appreciate that. So now when we go over here and collide with this box, 440, there it is. Top left corner, do you see it? There it is. We're triggering 440, which is pretty awesome. And the note stops when we go back. One other thing I wanna do now, so that's done pretty much. That is our setup. And here's uh, kind of a cool thing about this is I go over here now I've got this box, but because it's a blueprint instance, let's grab it and put it over here. And let's set this one to two octaves lower, 110. So now watch this. A440, A110, how cool is that? Same meta sound, triggering different pitches. And I can go wild if I want to. I could put one over here. Uh, I could put one, uh, let's put one over not there let's go uh, let's go top view let's drag this one up here and then also let's just put another one over here so now I got three right and I'm gonna set each one to a different note let's set this one to I don't know 620 that's probably not even a note uh, not an exact note and then 380 all right now check this out let's go to all the different pitches How cool is that? So now we're using the same meta sound to trigger all these different pitches. And this is just a basic square wave, so super boring. But as you start to build, you can create FM synthesis, you can create effects, you can do all of this other stuff. You can make super cool musical interactions. So this is just kind of like the groundwork, just the basics. So mess around with this, have some fun, experiment a little bit. And before you know it, you know, you might have cubes triggering drum beats and uh, triggering all sorts of things. And then when we get into the court system that we're going to talk about in future videos, we'll be able to sync those up in time. So when you collide with them, they actually quantize to the beat, which is super cool and super exciting. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for checking out the channel. Remember to like, and subscribe please leave it in comments you might have now uh, unreal engine is very complex so there's probably other ways to do this there might even be a better way to do this if you find a better way to do this to handle these meta sounds please put it in the comments I would like to know we're all learning together this is kind of a new feature so anyways hope this video was helpful thanks for checking out the channel make sure you like and subscribe and we'll do a lot more of the stuff in future videos take care